Hello friends. Today I'm going to share some interesting techniques on watercolor. If you have seen, I have used a duct tape to paste this watercolor paper. This is an acid-free watercolor paper which you easily get in a stationery shop. And this border keeps a nice white bottle line on the artwork. I typically use a wash technique. So if you've noticed, I have used water to soak on the paper and then I am applying a layer of colors. You can use a round brush or a flat brush to do the blending. One important aspect we need to be careful about, ensure that each layer of color first dries and then you apply the next layer of color. and. While you are applying the colors, please do not rub the brush too much on the paper so that the paper is damaged. Apply it gently and allow the colors to absorb on the paper. I am using Prussian blue, cobalt blue and veridian green as my base colors to get the texture on paper. I am also using white to bring some effects. One of the important aspects of watercolor is not allowing the paper to get damaged allowing the water to play on the paper and the colors to blend naturally with the water and the paper. I am using white to bring some texture and trying to blend with the background. Using earbuds helps in absorbing additional water. You can use it to bring some texture on the paper or you can also use to soak the additional water which is there on the paper. After your background is done, you can apply a lighter base and if you have noticed, I have started working on the mermaid with white. An important aspect about watercolor technique whenever you are working with dark colors as a base there are not many colors that can go on top of it only colors like white and lemon yellow can go on top of the darker base which is not the case with acrylic colors and if you are using a lighter base like lemon yellow or a lighter green or a lighter blue any darker colors like black or burnt china or Prussian blue all will go on top of it. I am again using the wash technique 
bring some effects on top of the paper After you're done with the blending, you can use darker shades to bring some objects on top of the background. You can see I'm using black, I'm using darker shades of blue to bring some shapes. Please remember to use black judiciously. Black as a color should be used very minimalistic manner and it should always be used to bring contrast unless you are using black as a black base. I'm using white to bring some texture. If you have seen, I'm using a hard brush and a thick coat of paint to spray some dots. This spray technique can be used on a darker base. Whenever you're trying to draw an ocean or a sky, You can also use the back of your brush to create dots. Many of you must have heard about mandala art and the dot technique. So there are stylus available in the market. If you do not have a stylus, then earbuds or matchstick or the back side of the brush very interesting tools which you can use to bring more texture to your composition You can also use a pen to draw the final lines and make the edges sharper. I will be using a golden pen and a white pen to bring the edges more finer. Applying a little bit of more color and contrast. If you see the golden pen and the white pen helps in bringing more texture and makes the painting look more neat. Thanks for watching this video. I will be sharing more videos 
please share your comments how you like this video. Thank you.